A great season in review starts in week one. OCS overcame Fumbleitis to secure a 35-6 non-district win over the Arcadia Hornets. The Eagles balanced offensive attack rushed for 173 yards while passing for 219 in the win. Kevin Walk led the bench but not break defense with seven tackles, two interceptions, a caused and recovered fumble. The Eagles defense gave up 255 yards on the ground but only two yards in passing. Drew Vadreen in his first game as a starter completed 10 of 16 passes including TD tosses of 14, 82 and 30. His two touchdown passes in the second quarter helped open up the game and set the Eagles on their way to improving to 1-0 on the year with the 35-6 win. The only setback for the Eagles came in week two against the high-powered rushing attack of Farmerville. The Farmers bullied for 318 yards on 50 carries, led mainly by the hard-nosed rushing of senior Russell Lyons. Although the score was 39-14, the Eagles had a big offensive night, but turnovers held them at bay. On the night, the Eagles had lost three fumbles and three interceptions. Drew Vadine once again threw for over 200 yards, and Eric Edwards caught eight passes for 151 yards in the 39-14 loss. Dusty Flowers made an impressive debut, rushing for 246 yards on 26 carries and scoring two TDs. Drew Vadrine also passed for 238 yards on 10 of 19 passing with two TDs as well. The Eagle defense bent for only giving up 385 yards in total offense, but had plenty of good standouts along the way. The biggest defensive stand occurred early in the fourth quarter against Tallulah when the Eagles held the Trojans out of the end zone on a fourth and goal play and then turned and marched 99 yards in five plays to take full advantage of the Trojans. Eric Edwards was the leading receiver for the Eagles with five catches for 94 yards and one touchdown in the 35-14 OCS win. The Eagles' fourth game of the season was truly a rout. Dusty Flowers rushed for 142 yards and scored two TDs to lead OCS to a home non-district win over the Rabel Hornets, 47-8. The Eagles totally dominated the Class 3A Hornets, stopping the fumble-prone team and holding them to 186 yards of total offense. OCS led at halftime 27-0 and upped that lead in only four plays in the third quarter after Casey Osmond recovered the second-half sky kick on the 30-yard line. The Eagles never looked back and upped their record to 3-1. The Eagle defense sacked the Rabel quarterback three times for 41 yards of lost yards and also added five more tackles for 48 yards of losses as well. Perhaps the most exciting game of the season was against Sterlington. Drew Vadreen's second TD pass, an 11-yarder to Josh Hudnell, capped off an OCS comeback to lead the Eagles to an exciting 35-34 victory. The pass capped off the comeback from the 27 halftime and a 26-14 third quarter deficit that left the Sterlington crowd in a frenzy. Dusty Flowers led the Eagles with 180 yards on 27 carries and two TDs. Shane Nugent and the Panthers led the game with 219 yards on only 20 carries with five TDs. The Eagle defense bowed up late in the game to stifle the last two Panther drives. For the first time in the season, OCS probably could have scored 100 points against Lake Providence. The Eagles came out and scored 28 in the first quarter and went on to totally dominate Lake Providence 67-6 at OCS. The Eagles scored 59 seconds into the game and never looked back as they rolled up 520 yards in total offense. The defense gave up only 218 total yards and only 38 through the air while stifling the Panthers' offense except for two plays, a 78-yard first quarter touchdown and a late 72-yard run. The Eagles ran and passed at will as they left a homecoming crowd rather happy with the win. Staying with the theme of one-sided affairs, the Eagles scored 38 unanswered points after falling behind 19-6 to take a 44-19 district road victory over McCall. The Eagles' Dusty Flowers paced the attack by scoring five TDs, three rushing and two passing. The Eagles' defense, after giving up 223 yards of total offense in the first half, stiffened and only gave up one first down in the second half. The Eagles took the lead for good with four minutes left in the third quarter. After the Eagles poured on the offense and the defense came away, it was win number six in the 44-19 victory. One of the city's better rivalries turned out to be a one-sided affair for the Eagles. 
Dusty Flowers carried the offensive load on his back, running for three TDs and 179 yards, pacing the Eagles to an impressive 34-zip route of St. Frederick. The Eagle defense played huge in this game, holding the Warriors' offense to only 92 total yards. The Eagles' much maligned running defense stood tall as they held the Warriors to only 64 yards rushing on the night. The defense had four quarterback sacks and four other tackles for losses in the game. The Warriors only moved the ball as close to the 25-yard line once as the Eagle defense stood tall. The shutout was the first in 11 games for the Eagles and the 30th in school history. Billed as the City Boys against the Country Boys, the Eagles, powered by a strong offense and a stingy defense, held on for a 34-33 victory over Oak Grove to clinch a share of the district championship. The Eagles never trailed in the ball game and were only tied for one series late in the game. Chad Hayes scored a TD and Dusty Flowers scored three in the win, which was sealed when Josh Hudnall intercepted a pass with only 12 seconds left in the game. Hudnall finished the night with 10 tackles, two blocks, and an interception. This game would be a preview for the state championship. The end of the regular season was another one-sided affair. The Eagles overcame the host big game blahs in the second half to finally blur Del High 48 to 12. Chad Hayes led the Eagles with 93 yards on nine carries and Drew Vadreen threw for two TDs even though he had a subpar game. The Eagle defense held strong after the halftime break and kept the pressure on the Bears forcing five turnovers that proved to be costly. Round one of the playoffs was at home. The Eagles came out and played a fair first round, holding Christian Life down in the second half to take a 41-27 win. Drew Vadreen was 9 of 15 for 300 yards and three TDs in leading the Eagles. It was the biggest game of Vadreen's career. Dusty Flowers also had a banner night, catching four passes for 164 yards and two TDs of 60 and 69 yards. The Eagles could have put the game away early in the fourth quarter, but two consecutive drives ended in fumbles while the Eagles were still within striking distance. One of the fumbles resulted in an 85-yard touchdown return. But when it was all said and done, OCS had cruised to the 41-27 victory to move on in the postseason. Round two of the playoffs found OCS at home again against De Quincey. Josh Hudnall caught six passes for 170 yards and two TDs and had an interception to lead the Eagles to a 47-12 victory over the Tigers in the regional playoffs. The Eagles ran for 225 yards and passed for another 249 in a game that was simply dominated by the home crowd. Dusty Flowers also rushed for 117 yards and two TDs in a game that was totally dominated on the ground. The Eagles' next trip would be on the road to Baton Rouge after the 47-12 victory. The first trip in the postseason away from home would be to Baton Rouge to take on University. The Eagles defeated both the University Cubs and the weather in this Friday night mess in the LSU practice field because of a torrential downpour, the final 23 to 10. Dusty Flowers ran for 160 yards and caught 70 yards worth of receptions, scoring a one-yard TD, while Drew Vadreen was 8 for 11 for 135 yards. The Eagle defense was outstanding despite the poor weather conditions, and with the victory, OCS advanced to the state 2A semifinals against West St. John at home with the 23-10 W. A game away from the state championship and a game at home. The Eagle defense stood tall and held the speedy and powerful West St. John Rams to 214 yards of total offense, while the Eagle offense took off to an early 27-0 lead. The Eagle defense had seven quarterback sacks and at one point had knocked the quarterback out of the game. The defense also had five other tackles behind the line of scrimmage. The offense, led by Dusty Flowers, who had 141 yards and three TDs, dominated the game from start to finish in the 47-14 win. Next up, the biggest rival in OCS history, Oak Grove. The state championship game would find perhaps the biggest rivals in the district, OCS and Oak Grove going at it one more time. Except this time in the Louisiana Superdome, it wasn't that close. The Eagles claimed their second ever state championship with the 53-35 victory. In that game, it started off quickly with Drew Vadreen hooking up with Dan Pruce for a 62-yard touchdown. Vadreen would finish the day 11 of 19 for 245 yards and six touchdowns. Dusty Flowers had 19 carries for 97 yards and one TD, 
while Eric Edwards was good for four catches, 95 yards, and three TDs. The Eagles end the year as state champions, while Drew Vadreen picked up the game's most valuable player award.
mark, ready, set, let's go. Dance floor pro, I know, you know, I go psycho when my knee joint hit. Just can't sit, gotta get jiggy with it, that's it. Now honey, honey, come ride. DKNY, all up in my eye. You got a rider, bag with a lot of stuff in it. Give it to your friend, let's spin. Everybody looking at me, glancing a kid. Wishing they was dancing a jig here with this handsome kid. Sick a cigar right from Cuba, Cuba. I just bite it, just for the look, I don't light it. Little way to hand, they on the hands, they all play. Give it up, jiggy, make it feel like four play. Yo, my cardio is infinite. Ha <laughs> Big Willie Styles all in it. Getting jiggy with it. Getting jiggy with it. Get in jiggy with it. 